hello friends in this video we will see how you can edit your database so let's suppose you have added your database in your can simulation setup but you want to edit something out of it so there is one way how you can edit it so you have to double click on the database which you have added so this database will now open in can db plus plus editor so that editor you can uh, directly find when you are double clicking on the database which you have added and the other way of opening the editor is going to tools and look for the can db plus plus editor so there are two ways how you can open your can db plus plus editor so these are the messages uh, given in the database so let's suppose we'll edit this first message so this message name is a temp relevant c whatever the name is and the id is 310 in hexadecimal so if you double click on that you can edit uh, the name of the message and the type of the message so we are keeping the type at standard if you want to make it as extend you can make it extend whatever things you are seeing here you can edit it so let's suppose we'll change the name as it is not very readable so I'll change the name to a temperature relative so now this is more readable to me if suppose I want to change the ID of it so I'll change to suppose 123 and also I can change the DLC of the message from here so I'll keep it as it is from now also I can select the transmitter who is the transmitter node and what type of TX I have to use also I can change the cycle time here so I want to if I want to change cycle time to 100 milliseconds I can change it so all this time is in milliseconds so if it is 1000 that means on each second this message will be sent here also we can edit the layout of the message so this message will contain these three signals and the layout is like this this stamp ex will start from 0 and it is having length 8 so from 0 to 8 it will be temp ex data and this 40 from 40 to uh, next 14 16 bits will be for this signal and from 8 bit to next 32 bits this will be this signal so this layout you can see here so as we were seeing in the signals this first 8 bytes has been taken by this temp x and the next 32 bits has been taken by this t6 cou rel so as you can see it's been taken by this and the next 16 bits has been taken by this thing that's that also you can change from here and the receiver of receivers also you can change from here you can just add and remove all sort of things you can do and transmitter also is here so that also you can remove and add from here and from here also you can do anything edit the message edit the signal also you can change the name of the signal whatever you want to do you can do it from here so this is how you can edit the database using candy b plus plus so thank you for watching